All right, for this problem, we're just supposed to write a definite integral whose value gives a solution to the following applied problem. So we don't have to solve the integral. We actually just have to write it. So we have a four meter rod placed along the X axis so that its left end is at the origin. The mass density delta in kilograms per meter increases at a constant rate as you move from left to right along its length. If the mass density of the rod is three kilograms per meter at the left, and nine kilograms per meter at the right end, find the total mass of the rod. So mass to me in this case is gonna be kilograms based on the unit of measure that I'm given here. So I'm trying to find kilograms of the rod. Now because of the way this is worded, everything is measured in kilograms per meter, at least the density is measured in that. That means that when I measure this, which is my slice, the width of my slice is gonna be delta x. And I'm not really worried about volume or area or anything like that because delta is measured in kilograms per meter. I just have to multiply times some unit of meters and that gives me my total mass. Okay, some unit of meters. So in my case, the length of any particular slice along here where the density is the same that mean, that's the length in meters of the rod. So I would say the mass on any slice that I choose is going to be delta times delta x. Sorry, a textbook uses rho, but we're gonna use delta because that's what the problem gives us. So this is kilograms per meter times meters. So that's gonna give me my meters of just that slice. The thing is though, they don't give us an actual density function, but they give us some information about it. Density function increases at a constant rate. That means it's linear. And they give us two bits of information to calculate that linear function. So the two bits of information is at zero, my density is three kilograms per meter. And at four, the density is nine kilograms per meter. We just have to find the equation of the line that goes through that point and that it'll give us our density function. So the change in output over the change in input is my slope, six over four, which is three halves. And then density is going to be uh, mx plus b, which is my y-intercept. And since I have a value for zero here, my y-intercept would just be three. So there's my density functions, which is kilograms per meter. So I'm gonna use that and over here to calculate the slice, the mass on my slice is going to be three over two x plus three times delta x. Now if I want the total mass of the rod, that's just the mass of just that one little bit that I've sliced there. If I want to add up all the delta x's on here, I have to integrate or sum up from zero to four, three over two x plus three dx, and that will give me total mass of my rod. Now remember, the only reason why I knew that I needed just the length of my slice was based on the units of measure that you're given in the problem. That's a key in getting these problems to work for you.